Hey guys, how you doing? Uncle Steph here. So, a lot of people getting more and more nervous about AI because it seems like almost every week we have a new AI breakthrough. This is normal when you have a new technology and AI is relatively new. You see advancements or at least the perceptions of advancements at a very fast pace. What I have noticed, though, is that the advancements, though significant, are not earth-shattering. Although, they will cherry-pick results to make it seem earth-shattering. That all said, you should welcome the coming of AI. I don't think it's going to replace development. I think it's just going to shift the game over. I've talked about this many times. So that means as developers, what... We have to do today manually, hard code certain things. We won't have to do six months from now, two years from now. We just have to adjust according to the uh, needs uh, or the reality of the situation on the ground. Trust me, I have seen this evolution in coding, in development, going back, I guess, to 1994. And over time, things become more and more abstracted and the roles that we play as developers just change. That all said, I think the number one concern that people have is the jobs. Are we going to lose developer jobs? The short answer is yes and no. So I'm not trying to be a, a jerk here. The reality is that whenever a new technology comes into the space, old jobs, old tasks that we used to do will, uh, will fade. There's no question about it. There are, there are a bunch of things that we used to have to do in the early 2000s and in the late 90s that we don't have to do anymore. And I am thankful that happened. Trust me, you don't want to do a bunch of the type of boilerplate code that we used to have to write back in the day. It was boring, it was laborious, sucked. So in the past, because the coding was far more expensive, meaning it took a lot more coding hours or development hours is a better term, a lot more development hours to get something done, the sophistication in the software and the polish of software and web apps in particular was not nearly as it is today. Why? Because it used to take us 100 hours what we can do now in maybe five hours. So as a result, the sophistication in web apps just increased quite a bit. So I'm going to overlay my old website, the original Studio Web, when Studio Web was a web design studio. This, I think, is a snapshot from 1998 when I was doing a lot of Java development. So you look at this site, believe me, at the time, this was considered a very, uh, very high-end aesthetics. Today, it's very primitive, but the technology at the time was very, very bad. One lesson you got to take away from this is that with the advent of AI and other technologies, low-code and no-code solutions, for example, it's going to replace some of the work that we currently do in the coming days or coming months, coming years. But it's just going to be uh, all these old jobs that will fade, new jobs will come in. That's number one. And number two, the level of sophistication in the software will just increase. We will become much more productive as developers, and the quality of the software that we produce will just get much better. This is good. So what is the advantage? What is the angle that you should take as a developer so that you can uh, benefit from this change that's happening? So what you ought to do is embrace AI. Start becoming an expert in the AI space. Now, the thing is, it's not about a particular model. It's not... A, Necessarily, necessarily about Claude or ChatGPT or Grok or DeepSeek, and there's so many models out there. It's not necessarily about a particular model because things change. GPT may be the best today in six months, or maybe Grok, or six months will be some other model we never heard of before. So your job today as a developer to become a very in-demand, highly productive developer who's making a lot of money your job is to become an expert in the AI space, not necessarily as a developer of AIs, but somebody who knows how to develop 
with AIs. So study that market, understand it, build with it, learn what the models can do, and you're going to start, number one, increasing your productivity quite a bit. Don't forget, the AIs make a lot of mistakes now, so you still need to know what you're doing. Uh, number two, also remember that development, a big part of it is not writing a code. A big part of it is figuring out everything, putting together everything. So AI can help you there, but you still have to do it, right? So you may get a, a person, a business person, I don't know, a small business owner who needs a web app to do some e-commerce or something. They don't know what to ask the AI. They don't know where to begin. They have no idea. That's where you come in, right? That's just a very simple example. So yeah, that's the other thing. So you look at AI as a tool set, just like you would look at an integrated development environment as a tool set, as a particular programming language or a library, as a, a tool that you can leverage or not leverage depending on the needs of the job. So one day you may use React, another day you're going to use Vue, another day you're going to be on a Node with Express, another day Laravel will make more sense, another day WordPress will make more sense, another day you may want to use some um, no-code platform that integrates with back-end systems that you have uh, uh, already in place. That's the job of the developer. The developer understands the tools out there, understands the landscape, and they build things. AI is now a new category of tool that you should leverage. I use it on a regular basis now. And uh, instead of going to uh, uh, Google, I'm in, I'm in uh, chat GPT a lot, Grok sometimes, and uh, I'm just scratching the surface. Those who embrace the new technology will gain a huge advantage in the marketplace. So if you are amongst the uh, forward forward thinking developers and you learn AI and you understand the landscape and you come to the table with this knowledge, you're going to get all the jobs, whether you're freelancing or working for somebody full time. So there you go. We are seeing the market shift and AI is uh, driving it, of course, and uh, just embrace it. It's not going to replace developer job. It's going to just change what we do as developers. I'm recording this in uh, mid-March 2025. All right, I'm Michael Steff. I mentor people in software development, business development, freelance. Uh, I'm even going to do some other stuff as well. I've been at this for a long time. So everything I talk about, by the way, is based on personal experience, not speculation or uh, research uh, of other people's ideas. So it's based on decades of experience. So I'm pretty sure it's accurate. All right, if you like my long hair, Give me a thumbs up. If you don't like my long hair, give me two thumbs down. And if you have any questions with regards to this or anything else, put them in the comments below. I may answer them. All right, we'll talk soon. Cheers.